ladies! Welcome back to my channel and today I'm filming my very first favorites video. So this is going to be my January favorites and I'm not going to do these every month. There's really no point. I'm not a product junkie anymore at this point in my life and I just don't try enough new things every month to do a monthly favorites. But I was thinking it would probably be really good to do one for the seasons because things often switch up when the weather changes and the seasons change. So this will be my winter January favorites. So I'm going to start with hair and the very first hair product I have is the Shea Moisture Purification Mask. I really don't know why no one told me about this. Like, I've already said I feel some kind of way that people just thought that they could keep this from me. I saw Mahogany Curls do an at least one review slash tutorial with it using it two different ways and I was like I mean anytime you see anything with her hair it's instant sale but I was just like I don't hear anyone talking about that one and I had seen it I think but I think I shied away from it because it's black and when I see black labels and black things I think that they are going to smell like licorice I can't do licorice licorice the scent of licorice nauseates me so I strayed away from it and I tried it and it is amazing first off the smell the smell is strange <laughs> it smells kind of like crayons and aloe vera juice or something its consistency is um, creamy but <sighs> somewhere in between thick and medium thick. It's it's medium thick, um, but it, you see how it's shiny? It's not, it's very hard to descri describe the consistency. It's very smooth and light, but still creamy enough, I guess I could say. And it goes in your hair like a dream. And when I rinsed this stuff out, my hair was just baby butt butter. It whatever it was. Um, it, it was amazing. It, I love this stuff. I will, I will probably never be without it again. The second hair product is the Giovanni Too Chic Brazilian Keratin Serum. And it comes in this really slim bottle with a pump top, which is really great for serums. Um, just one pump and it doesn't give you very much, which is a little annoying, but it's on purpose because it says multiple times on this bottle that it's highly concentrated and you need to use it very sparingly. So, you know, not going to give you a pump that gives you half the bottle. I have had this for over a year and I'm still on the same bottle. And this stuff is amazing. It's so smooth and sleek. I think it can double as a heat protectant, but there's no cones in it. It has Rubus T. That'll be interesting in a second. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of just good extracts and really good oils in there. And as far as I can see, nothing really harmful. Giovanni is a really great line. He, um, they usually have really good ingredients. But this, the shine on this product is out of this world. All you need is one little pump and put it on your ends. Work it on the lower half of your hair after you straightened. I will put it on my ends or the lower half sometimes if I'm doing a braid out. It's really amazing, really lightweight. And it's got a lot of good things in it. I think, I don't remember how much it cost, I think it's it's not the cheapest thing ever, but for this bottle to have lasted over a year, and you see what size this is, um, I'd say it's way worth it. And so that's actually it <laughs> for hair. That's why I said I couldn't do this on just hair care, so I'll move into the other categories. So moving into beauty, somewhat, it's <laughs> it's a small thing. As if you ladies know me, I don't do makeup, a lot, a lot of it, I don't buy a lot of it, I don't really know how to do it too well. Um, but my one beauty favorite for this month is the NYX Butter Lip Balm. And um, this is it here. I, I think I was in Ulta for something and I saw it and it like literally grabbed me with the, the packaging was so cute and butter lip balm that just sounds so amazing. Like, what? Why did you put it on in the middle of your sentence? Um, yeah, this is it. And I have it in the color brownie, I believe. Yeah, brownie. And it's the perfect shade to complement um, my coloration and skin tone, I think, because uh, I, I think it's a, maybe a little bit more pigmented than my lips. My lips are a little more pink, but it doesn't look like I'm wearing lipstick. It's not dry. It's perfect for the daytime because I don't like wearing lipstick or anything that I can feel on my lips too, too much during the day. But 
Anybody who's like an avid chapstick wearer, just like plain lip gloss wearer, knows you can get that like white cast on your lips if you're just using like a very waxy lip balm or something. So this allows you to have a little bit of pigment without it being like too distracting for daytime and just super simple if you like. It's really smooth and really moisturizing, and I think this thing's amazing. And that's it for my beauty. <laughs> so moving on to the other tidbits. I'm sure plenty of you ladies had to know this was coming, but the bamboo leaf tea is, of course, in my January favorites. That tea has been amazing to me. I won't say too much about it because, you know, I still have to do the 30-day challenge update. And for the ladies requesting that, just hopefully um, I was clear or maybe, I don't know, maybe it's not clear, but 30 days haven't passed yet, so I'm still <laughs> I'm still drinking it, so I can't give the 30-day update yet because it hasn't been 30 days. Um, but when the 30 days pass, I will definitely do the review on that tea and just know that I absolutely love it. I drink it at night, and I feel like it's such a good evening routine. It helps with digestion. I'm just, like, ready for bed and good to go once I have it, so I love it, love it, love it. To go along with that, another random tidbit I have... <laughs> is Tupelo Honey. This is the one I have right now. It doesn't matter the farm or the distributor. So far as it's, so long as it's 100% raw, pure honey. Um, raw honey. Honey from the grocery store, like from Publix, Kroger, Giant, any of those, usually isn't real honey. Um, it doesn't have any pollen, it doesn't have a lot of the nutrients that raw honey has. So I love this honey, even though it's in a bear form, it's not one of those regular supermarket bear honeys. This one's from Whole Foods, and Tupelo is a special, it's not a special, it's a different type of honey. It comes from a different tree. And there's lots of different honeys. I'm sure people have seen that. You know, you see the orange blossom, wildflower, clover, you see a lot of different honey types, but it never registered to me that they might taste different or be different, and Tupelo is by far my favorite. It's, um, I think it's indigenous to like the southeast in the U.S. Somebody told me it was Georgia, but I, I saw it somewhere in the Carolinas too, so I don't think it's just Georgia, but um, it's amazing. Clover can be a little bit bitter, and it's not as sweet as some other honeys, and it, like Tupelo is really light and really sweet, and it's just awesome. So if you see Tupelo and you're going to get honey, give this one a try because it's awesome and it's delicious. My very last random little tidbit is Tazo's Baked Cinnamon Apple Tea. Um, this tea is so delicious. <laughs> I don't know if I've lost my clout for thinking that the bamboo tea is delicious too, but I don't, I don't care. This tea tastes like a cinnamon apple, and it is so good with some honey, and it's, it's so delicious. But beyond it being delicious, it's a Rubis tea, and Rubis is one of the ingredients that was actually in that Giovanni serum. It all comes full circle, which I didn't even know, and it's really strange, but Rubis has, like, insane health benefits. All the ladies who are calling me flawless in my request for request video, you guys are far too kind and far too incorrect. I'm the farthest thing from flawless, but when I started drinking both these teas, my skin rapid cleared, and I looked more into it, and they're both known to help skin ailments and acne a lot, especially the rubus. I read that in the article, I think her name is Nadej, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but from Relaxed Hair Health where I first found the tea and she said that it really cleared her skin up and so I was like, kind of like, it was on my radar like, maybe my skin will get a little better and then I started drinking this in the mornings and that in the evenings and I looked more into this and rubus does too, so both of these have like amazing skin clearing benefits and they work from the inside out. So that's it for my January winter favorites. There weren't too many things, but again, I'm over that haul phase in my life, so I, I don't buy that many things, but when I do find something good, I love to share it. So those are what's been really amazing to me this winter. And if you guys like this, then I will do a spring edition too, and summer and fall. And yeah, it'll be like my seasonal favorites. But until next time, I will see you ladies soon, and happy hair growing. Bye!